Question 1. Examine whether the following are polygons. If anyone among them is not, then say why. So here, first of all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And the line segment stops there. So it is an open figure. It is not a closed figure and hence it is not a polygon. Now, in order to have a polygon, it must be a closed figure. It contradicts it contradicts this definition. Therefore, it is not a polygon. Now, B part, you can see here, it is made up of 3, 4, 5, 6 line segments and it is closed. Therefore, it is a hexagon and it is a polygon since it is a closed figure. Now, C part, it is a circle. It is although closed and here it is a semicircle and here it is an arc or you can say a sector. So, this is also not a line segment. Therefore, C and D are not polygons since they are not made of line segments. Therefore, C and D are not polygons. So, polygon is a closed figure like this made up of only line segments, not circles. So, this was your first question. Second, Name each polygon. So we have to name these polygons. They have particular names based upon the line segments. Make two more examples of each of these. So the first one is quadrilateral because it has four sides. One, two, three, four. Therefore, it is a quadrilateral, and these are the two figures that we can make for a quadrilateral. This one and this. This is a kite. The earlier one was a trapezium. This one is a trapezium. This was your A part. Now B. Three sided line segments. It is a triangle. This is isosceles having two angles or two sides equal. This is equilateral having all angles 60 and all sides equal. Now, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A pentagon having five sides. This is regular pentagon. This is another pentagon. This was the C part. Now, D 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is an octagon having eight sides. Again, we can make another eight sides in order to demonstrate the octagon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is your question second. Third, draw a rough sketch of a regular hexagon connecting any three of its vertices. Draw a triangle. Identify the type of triangle you have drawn. So this is a regular hexagon having equal sides and equal angle measures. Now we have to connect three vertices. So we can take these one, two, three. This one. And we can connect. So we can take these three. Like we will connect three vertices in order to make a triangle. So we have connected. Now what we observe is that, now what kind of a triangle it is formed? That's what has been asked. So when we identify the triangle, we see that two sides are equal because it is a regular hexagon and third side is not equal. What does it mean? It means it is an isosceles triangle having two sides equal, namely this one, one and two. We are marking for the equal line segments and these angles are again equal. So therefore, when we connect three of its vertices, we get a regular hexagon. We can say isosceles triangle is formed when joining three vertices of a regular hexagon. Remember, regular is important. If we take another hexagon which is not regular, which is irregular, this will not work. Fourth, draw a rough sketch of a regular octagon. Now it's asking for regular octagon. Use squared paper if you wish. Draw a rectangle by joining exactly four of its vertices of the octagon. So here we have demonstrated that how we can construct an octagon using a square paper. So you will take a square paper of any measures. First of all, you can do it on a paper. Take a square of any dimension. Let's say 10 millimeters. Okay. Now what we will do is we will connect its diagonals. We have connected its diagonal and we'll get a center point, the intersection point. Now we will take a compass and measure this as a radius that is A and center point that is from its one of the vertex 
to the center meeting point. So we'll draw an arc from every side, which is going through that point. So this is the third arc. And the last one from here, from the D point, meeting K and F. So now we will get these places and we will connect these with the lines. So what you find is that after connecting it, we get a regular octagon having equal sides. That is like EL will be equal to LK and so on. We'll get a regular octagon. Now we have done this part. Now we are going to draw a rectangle by joining exactly four of its vertices. Now you can take any of the four vertices. For an instance, we are taking E, L, K and J. And we will connect it with a straight line segment that is E, J. And again, in the other part, we will connect E, F, G, I with a line segment F, I. So what we see in the center, we get a rectangle. And that was the required answer. Here you can see opposite pair of opposite pair of sides are equal. That is EF is equal to JI. So this was your fourth. Question five. A diagonal is a line segment that joins any two vertices of the polygon and is not a side of the polygon. Draw a rough sketch of a pentagon and draw its diagonals. So this is a pentagon, namely A, B, C, D and E. So it is a rough sketch of a pentagon. Now we have to draw its diagonal. What is a diagonal? It is a line segment that joins any two vertices of the polygon and not the sides. So first of all, we will draw from A. What are the possible diagonals? AC and AD. We will connect AC. So here we connect AC. That is the first diagonal AC. Now we can see another possibility that is AD can also be drawn. Done. Now look, AB and AE cannot be drawn because it will be the sides of the pentagon, which is not a diagonal as stated above. And also we have learned in this chapter as well. So now from B, we have the possibility to join E, that is BE one diagonal, and another BD is the possibilities. Now again, BC cannot be drawn. Similarly, BA cannot be drawn. Now from C, CA is already connected and CE is left, therefore we connect it. And now from D, already both the B and A are connected. So this is how we make the diagonals. So therefore, namely AC and AD and now from BE and BD and from CA is already named therefore we don't name it. Now CE are the diagonals of this pentagon. So this is how you do such type of questions. That was your fifth question.